All righty, hello, Power Life Live. My name is Jasmine, and welcome to a 30-minute school express. Um, so you can grab a set of weight or substitutes, so like cancer soup, laundry detergent, um, wine bottles, whatever feels good. We have a playlist to this class in the video description, so feel free to click on that link to Spotify and follow along. If you are ready, we will get started in high plank. Let's just get right to it and breathe. So stack your shoulders directly on top of your wrists. Squeeze your belly button up and in towards your spine to ignite your core and raise your heels high over your toes. It starts to feel your core and your quads ignite. Nice, micro bend in your elbows. So my partner and I, we own an ambulance that we purchased back in the fall. It's like March just now. And um, we are transforming it into a camper. It's been super fun. It's funny to see in the beginning when we first bought our ambulance. Yeah, I know I'm holding here. You got it. Stay in it. Stick with your breath. Um, we were watching all of these YouTube videos and seeing everyone, you know, and how they do it. And we were thinking, oh my gosh, we have to have all of it. We need to do this and this and this. And now that we've spent a few months working on it, we're coming back to it as it's getting warmer. We are taking things totally out of our own pace. We let go of all of our expectations, and now we're totally content with where we are. So on our mat today, we're going to play with just taking it at your own pace. You are here for five, four, downward facing dog, and three, two, and one. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe. Melt your heels low towards the earth, and lift your hips up high. Place your hands about shoulder distance apart, and press into the L shape of your hand. Bend your knees, walk out your dog, lengthen through your hamstrings, and add some length into your spine. Make it feel good. As you inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, sink them low. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll top of mat and stay. Step your feet mat or hip distance with the part. Create a bend in your knees, hinge from your hips. See how you can release through your shoulders. Grab opposite elbows and sway from right to left. Shake your head yes and then no. Make it feel good for you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands. Heels toe your feet together to where it feels comfortable. Left hand center of the mat. Inhale, rag or twist and stay. Extend your right arm high to the sky. Lengthen through your right leg. Big bend in your left knee. You can roll up your wrists. Lengthen through your side body. Inhale, exhale, release to center. Inhale, rag or twist, other side, and stay. Open up through your chest and create some space between your shoulders. Same thing, you can roll out your wrist, lengthen through your left leg this time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, mountain pose. Press into the four corners of your feet. Relax your shoulders down your spine and face your palms in towards one another. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Stay. Cactus your arms out wide. Open your chest forward. Lift your gaze towards the top of the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, push up to a side plank. Inhale, lower. Exhale, let's open up to your right side. Inhale, down. Exhale, up, switch between your sides. Yeah, take it on your own. A really great option here, I know it's early in class, you can take this entire thing on your knees. Inhale, lower, exhale, let's align your shoulders over your wrist the entire time. Open up, sit on your bottom knee. Good, take it at your own pace. Spread your fingertips out wide and press into your palms. It'll give so much power into every single push-up. As you open up to the side, squeeze through your obliques and lift your hips up nice and high. So good. Starting right here, take this at your own pace. What do you need to do to make it feel good in your body? You're here for five. Even out for four. High plank in three, two, and one, high plank, stay for your breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, let's flow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, mountain pose. I feel big back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. I feel fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, slow, half burpees. So jump to two hands. Stay low in a squat. Reach your hands. Jump back to your plank. Nice. It's going to be tempting to take this fast, but I want you to take it slow. Feel the way that your breath and body work together. Slow down this motion. The challenge here is can you stay in a low squat towards the top of your mat? Woo. Fire up right in your belly and your core to give some momentum into your movement. You are here for five, four, speed it up in three, two, and one. Fast hop for people. Cardio. Go, go, go. Zip your inner thighs together as you jump back into your plank. Yeah. Lower your hips down so you can squeeze your core nice and tight. Whoo. Heck yes, heck yes. Keep it moving. You can, you can for five, four, single squats, top of your mat in three, two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, down, lift, squeeze. Start this nice and steady. So in your squat, sink back and low into your hips, fire up through your glutes as you lift. Maybe you find a little bit of pause at the top. Stay broad through your chest, so pull your shoulders back, and lift through your upper body as you lower into your squat. Heck yes. Give me five, four, add an oblique twist in three, oblique twist in two, one, inhale, lower, exhale, lift and twist, down, lift twice. So what that looks like is opposite elbow to your opposite knee. Square your hips to the front the entire time and find the twist from your torso. Align your elbows with one another to stay active through your upper body. Whoo, heck yeah. The lower you sink into your squat, the greater your drive is going to be in your oblique twist. Flex through your foot and you'll feel your leg get slightly lighter. Yeah. Give it five, four, pulse it low. In three, lowest point, even out for two. One, lowest point. Pulse, 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 good. Feel the burn in your quads, weight is in your heels. Woo! Find your lowest point. I want you to sink one inch over in here, right with you. For four, squat jacks. In three, two, one. Jump out and in with your arms and legs. It's like a really great pec deck for your upper body. So spread through your hands. Align your elbows with your shoulders. Low in your legs, but high on your toes. Woo! Give it four, three. Chair pose, pulse. In two. One chair pose, knee pulse, 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 good. Start to slow down your breath a little bit. I know that was a lot. Zip your belly button up and in. You're here for four. Chair pose in three, two, and one. Inhale, chair pose in three. So sink your weight into your heels and line up through your toes. Tuck your tail one under. Reach your arms up and forward. Inhale, heavy in your right foot. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Breathe. Place your feet to so be about hip distance width apart. Extend your arms back and squeeze your shoulder blades towards one another. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Breathe. Point your front toes towards the front of your space and parallel your back heel with the back edge of your space. Press your shoulders down. Reach long fingertip to fingertip. Take breath in. Exhale, low lunge, top of mat, and breathe. Just begin to rock forward and back. Start to add mobility into your movement. So place your right foot directly between your hands. Pull your right hip back to square your hips to the earth. And drop your shoulders down your spine to create a flat back. Nice. Exhale here, switch into switch jumps. Let's go. So stay light through your hands and switch your feet in and out. Totally take this slow. Make it yours. It's your pace today. Nice day, low and grounded in your legs. You're not here for long. Give me four, three, low lunge, left leg forward, and two, and one. Exhale, low lunge, left leg forward. Inhale, standing split, single leg lifts. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down, and exhale up. Woo! So you're on your left foot, gentle bend in your left leg. 
square your right hip down to give some power into your right glute. I have some options here with your stance. So stay active in your upper body. You can grab your weights and use them as stilts to add some stability here. Now maybe even with this, you can bring one of your hands to our center. Bring both of your hands. Challenge your balance a little bit. Woo, nice, keep it up. You're here for five. Pulse your highest point in four. Highest point in three, two, and one. Find a squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yeah, you've got it. Press into your right leg. Woo, you're here for five. Standing splits in four, standing splits. And three, two, and one. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, four to four. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, back to your squat. This time, add a kick. So inhale, lower, exhale, lift, front kick. Inhale, down, exhale, up. Woo! Adding on into our squat series with every kick. Stay so intentional, flex through your foot. Maybe find something in the front of your space that you can have your focus on. Nice. The more active you are through your upper body, the more power your kick will have. You've got it, you've got it. Whew, we're not here for long at all. Just give me six, five, even out for four. Take it to a squat jump. In three, two, and one squat jump. Let's go. Inhale lower. Exhale, let's explode. See, blow into your squat. Big explosions as you rise. Yeah. Keep it up, keep it up. Whoo, deep breaths, ain't no thing. Give me five, four, squat, pulse. And three, two, and one, squat, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Whoo, for four, chair pose. And three, two, and one. Inhale, chair pose, reset. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. And breathe. Nice, so step your right leg back this time. Pull your shoulders back so your chest can be nice and tall and spiral your triceps towards one another. Exhale, inhale, warrior two, open up. Breathe. Open up through your left hip and squeeze your knee towards the left. Stack your shoulders directly on top of your wrists. Nice and relax through your shoulders. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, top of the mat, rock forward and back, forward, back. So stay high on your back toes, that'll help you with the groundedness of your front knee. Press into your left foot, spider tip through your hands, you know what's coming. Exhale, here, switch it up, let's go, 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 go. Switch them out, switch them out. Woo, yeah, you can take these fast or slow, your tempo, your pace. Give me five, four, Left leg forward in three, or no, right leg forward in two, and one, exhale, low lunge, right leg forward. Inhale, standing splits, single leg lifts. Inhale down, exhale up, lower, lift, squeeze. Whoo. Flex into your left foot. Square your hips to the earth and dial your toes to face the ground. Nice bend in your right knee the entire time. You've got it. Take the same options that you tried on the other side. So you can use your weights here. Maybe one or both hands to her center. Whatever feels good. You're here for five. Pulse it high in four. Three, two, one high point. Lift, lift, squeeze, squeeze. Nice. Fire it up, fire it up. For five. Four, standing splits, and three, two, and one. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grab your weights. Let's get right into it. Inhale, chair pose, wide leg squat. Step your feet out wide, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Down, with squeeze. Whoo! So we've been in our squat a lot already today, but now you have your weights back and low into your hips and create some distance between your weights and your chest. That'll keep your upper body working. 
We'll add on in five. Add a bicep curl in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, everything lowers. Exhale, lift and curl. Inhale, drop. Exhale, lift, curl. Good, keep it up. As you drop your weights, allow them to sink you even just one centimeter deeper into every single rep of your squat. Hug your elbows in tight to your side body to isolate into your biceps. Lower about three-fourths of the way down. Lift curl three-fourths of the way up. Holding them there will keep them engaged the entire time and allow you to fatigue in this muscle. It's a really big muscle. So you are here for five, four, add an overhead press in three, two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl, press. Inhale, everything lowers, exhale, curl, and press. Good, a really big movement that really needs your breath. So allow your breath to guide this work. As you press your weights, pull your shoulders away from your ears, that's where the work is. So good and strong. Be mindful to stack your weights on top of your shoulders as you press. Give me five, four, just your squat, overhead press in three, two, and one, inhale, lower, exhale, press, lower, lunge press. Isolate that movement. Now as you drop your weight, strive to align your elbows with your shoulders. You'll keep your shoulders engaged that way. If you have no weights, no problem. Just spread your fingertips out wide and you can still get into the work in your shoulders. I am personally a baby when it comes to shoulder work and so I oftentimes will always drop my weights here. Good, you're here for five. Four, add back in your bicep curl in three, two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl, shoulder, press. Woo, keep it up, keep it up, back into it. So we've been building up into a weighted burpee. Stay right where you are, keep moving. I will show you what this looks like. So after your overhead press, lower your weight through heart center, plant your weight down, jump back to your high plank, renegade row, right, and left, good. Jump forward, bicep curl, overhead press. You'll add on into this in three, two, and one. Let's do it. Bicep curl, overhead press, lower to your high plank. Row right and left. Woo! Take it on your own. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So take it at your own pace. You can even have an option to take this into a step to the front. Take out the jump. Sometimes that may feel so nice and strong. Yeah, but make it yours. Woo! Keep it up, keep it up. Give me six, five, high plank, just your renegade row in four, three, two, and one, high plank. Inhale, lower, exhale, row right, lower, row left. So in your row, allow your elbow to gently raise your side body. That's how you're gonna get into your upper back. You have the option to drop down to your knees, align your shoulders on top of your wrists, and you'll still get really into that work. You can focus even deeper into your upper body. Make it yours. Woo! Deep, deep breaths. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Here we go. You are here for five. Four, full weighted burpee, just 10 seconds. In three, two, one, back to it. Bicep curl, overhead press. Still keep your high plank. You're not here for long at all. Give me your very best six. Five, chair pose in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, chair pose, heavy in your right foot. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms around the world. Inhale, lower, pinky to pinky. Exhale, lift, thumb to thumb. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Whew. So draw a really big circle directly around your hips. Feel the engagement in your pecs. And as you lift, fire up between your shoulder blades. Whew. I have your time, don't you worry. Raise your weights high above your hips. You have the option to take this into chair pose, or maybe even drop your back knee. You're here for five, four. Pulse your weights up high, 
In three, pulse them high. In two, and one, teeny pulse. Pulse, lift, lift. Raise your weights above your hips. That's how you'll get into your triceps. For five, four, crescent plane. In three, two, and one, exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, warrior two, bow and arrows. Inhale, pull your back leg forward. And exhale, send it back. Good, inhale forward. Exhale, press it back. Nice, you got it on your own. Re-sink low into the warrior two form that we set up early in class. Relax through your shoulders. Now your arms to be on the same plane. You have the option here. You can drop into your front weight. Maybe place your hand by your hip or extend. No weight and just focus on your moving back hand. You can drop it. Make it feel good to you. Stay engaged into your lower body. And if you slow this down, you'll even feel the way that your obliques work to complete this motion. So good and strong. Woo! Give me six. Five. Warrior two and four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. Pull, pivot, plant your weight, switch jump, straight into it. Go, go, go. Drive it out, drive it out. Woo! That's it, that's it. You are here for five, four, left leg forward and three, left leg forward and two, and when I feel low lunge, left leg forward. Inhale, standing splits, Shiva squats. Inhale, lower your knee towards your calf. Exhale, lift, press your right leg high. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Same thing, you have the option to use your weights and stilts here. Squeeze into your hamstrings as you press. Good, and you can even bring one or both hands to your heart center. Make it yours. Woo! Stay and it stays so strong. You are here for five, four, standing splits in three, two, and one. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold, no weights. Inhale, rise to standing high knees. Here we go, get them up, get them up. Raise your knees to about hip height and stay like through your toes. You can bring your hands out in front of you to hold yourself accountable, or maybe even raise your hands up above your head. You're here for five, four, star jacks. In three, two, one, big, big star jacks. Extend through your fingers and your toes. Nice, squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Maybe you can even take this to a jumping jack. Take it to a step. Or your jump. You are here for five. Step it out in four, three, two, and one. Just step it out. Woo! Air high five through the camera. Awesome job. We'll get right back into our other side. Inhale, chair pose, reset. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grab your weights. Inhale, chair pose. No squats this time, you're welcome. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Right leg back around the world. Inhale, lower, pinky to pinky. Exhale, lift thumb to thumb. Woo! We've got the same thing cooking for us on this side. So give your left side what you gave your right. Stay low into your left leg. Or maybe you take the same leg option that you did on the other side. You can drop your back knee or even take this into chair pose. Draw a really nice big circle around your hips. Find a pause at the bottom and pause at the top. Nice. Big, deep breaths. Woo. You can even take this motion one arm at a time if that feels good to you. You're here for five, four, pulse your weights up high in three. Pulse them high in two, one, teeny pulse. Pulse, lift, lift, you got it. Squeeze, squeeze. Woo. One and tired right now, I feel the burn. Four. Three, crescent plane, in two, and one, exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, warrior two, bow and arrow, same thing. Inhale, pull your back foot forward. Exhale, sit it back. Maybe you drop your front weight. You can have an isometric hold in your front hand. Or even, no wait, so still get into your work. You're working your arms, your core, and your legs here. It's like a triple threat. So stay low into your warrior two. I promise the work is work that you won't regret. Staying low right here. 
Big breaths to keep you moving. We're not here for long at all. Head guess, head guess. You're here for five, four, warrior two and three, two, and one. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge, full pivot, pinch your weight, switch jumps, go, go, go. Switch them out, switch them out. Stay like for your hands. This is your last one. Woo! Make it your very best. Give me five, four, right leg forward in three, two, and one. Exhale, low lunge, right leg forward. Inhale, standing split, Shiva squats. Inhale, lower, knee to cap. Exhale, lift, press it back. Good. This is like your last standing sculpting move. So indulge in it, keep it up. Press into your right foot. Fire up, magnetize your inner thighs together. As you lower, your lifted left leg. So good, the more you flex this and energy through your toes, the lighter your leg will become. We are so close, team, keep it up. Head guess, head guess, give me five, four, standing splits in three, two, and one, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold, no weight. Inhale, rise to standing, forward knees, let's go. Big explosions at the top of your mat. Strong hip pose as you jump back. You can add in a step here. Make it how it feels good, or maybe you can add your push up. Yeah, it's yours, it's yours, keep it up. Woo! Heck yes. You're here for five, four, last cardio push for three, high plank, and two, and one, high plank, just hold, breathe into it. Drop forward and back, feel your core ignite, press into your palms, stay low on your hips. For four, drop your knees in three, grab your weights in two, and one, drop your knees, grab your weights on your back, chest fly with the leg lower, inhale, Stand your legs low, open your elbows out wide. Exhale, lift, squeeze to the top. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Yeah, you have some options here. You can take this into just one leg, one arm at a time. Maybe you're like, I don't want to work my chest that way, that's okay. Just focus on your legs. That totally works. Maybe you just want to focus on your arms. Maybe you want to do the whole thing, but no weights. Totally still works. Make it yours. Micro bend in your elbows the entire time. Gently bend through your knees and glue your lower back to the earth. That's how you'll get into your lower core. Yeah, keep it up. I'm not here for long at all. Give me five, four, ditch your weights. Rope climbers in three, rope climb it out in two, and one. Reach opposite hands to opposite foot. Your legs are still up the wall. Flex through your feet and strive to raise your shoulder blades off of the earth. Whew, fire up into your side bodies with every single lift. Maybe create some space between your chin and your chest. Keep, keep the weight in your upper core and obliques. Even out for five, four, fingertips behind your head in three, leg up the wall crunch in two, and one, inhale lower, exhale lift, down. Lift, squeeze, good. Same thing, raise your shoulder blades up every single time. Lighten the grip behind your head to put the work back into your core. We are so close to finish. Keep it up, hold on to your integrity right here. You are here for five, four, pulse set high in three, two, one, highest point, teeny lift, lift, squeeze. Squeeze, good. This is where you finish. Breathe into it for five, four, full body stretch in three, two, and one. Woo, full body stretch. Air high five, woo, that's the camera. When you're ready, bring your right ankle to your left knee. And pull your left hand close to your chest. You can find the bind or hold your leg here or bring it close to me. Breathe. Feel the stretch in your right hamstring and your outer glute. Maybe you begin to relax through your shoulders. You can even shut down your eyes. Deep breath in. 
And as you exhale, drop your knees to your left side body. Like a supine figure four twist. And breathe. Open up through your right side. And bring a cactus shape or T through your upper body. Glue your shoulders onto the earth. Yeah. Drop your gaze down your right shoulder. Exhale here. As you inhale, return to center and switch out your feet. Left ankle to your right knee. Give it the same squeeze and loving sensation. So, funniest thing in our ambulance is I was the most passionate about the curtains originally. I saw really awesome curtains and other transform bands that I really, really wanted, and I found some pretty expensive ones. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, soup by twist, other side. Stay. Stack your hips on top of one another. Even stack your knees if that feels better to you. Breathe in to your left side body this time. And while I was like so passionate of making sure I could make it work, I'm like very content with the $10 curtains that we picked up and installed in our ambulance. Not because the other ones weren't totally cute, but because we're making it ours. No need to be the big expectations that you typically see just what works for us. And the same thing can happen on our mat. You get so many options, so many ways that you can do things. You choose your weights. You choose not to use your weights. You choose how deeply you want to get into your cardio and your lunges. It's yours. Take it at your own pace. Exhale here. As you inhale, pull your knees in towards your chest. Just give yourself a squeeze. And exhale, release into your Shavasana. Hi, oh, baby. Take up space. Relax your neck, shoulders, and jaw. And let your mind float away. I will pull you out in a moment. Thank you for creating the space in your pace of your day. As you enter into the world off the mat, I encourage you to take things at your own pace. Bring your hands to prayer in third eye center. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. We honor one another and say, Namaste. Woo! Awesome job. Thank you for 